that we've been saying. We all know the problems. And I want to straight away bring in Dr. Anand Ranganathan, who joins us. And, and I, want to, I want to ask you, Dr. Ranganathan, there's an attempt now being made, a very focused attempt. What do you make of this attempt? Uh, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to all my panelists. There are three issues that I want to delve on very briefly, Rahul. Number one, but before I do, I want to say this. Many people have been saying since the Kashmir Files was released that there are versions of truth. I'm sorry. I say this as a scientist. There are no versions of truth. There is only one truth. There is no Roshaman here. There is only one truth, and there will always be one truth. There could be many opinions or interpretations. So... The sad fact out here, Rahul, is that no one, no one comes out of it unscathed or unbiased. And that is the real tragedy. Number one, there have been vicious attempts by other channels. I am sorry to say this, your fellow journalists as well, some of them are Kashmiri pundits, who are saying that is this really, was this really a, a genocide? Was this really a Kashmiri Hindu genocide? Because at most 500 or 1,000 Kashmiri Hindus were killed. And it pains me to say this, to even mention this, that by that logic, should you say that the Sikh genocide where 3,300 Sikhs were killed or the Tasmanian genocide where 1,000 Tasmanians were annihilated compared to Armenian genocide or the Holocaust where 7 million Jews were murdered, those genocides also pale in comparison. So would you say that 1984, the Sikh genocide did not happen? or the Tasmanian genocide did not happen in the 19th century. This is the logic people are using for dehumanizing the crimes committed against Kashmiri Hindus. But what can we talk about journalists when we look at the state being complicit? But here again, Rahul, we don't have to go back 30 years to say that the state was complicit. And I include the judiciary. I may be hauled up for contempt, but I hold the judiciary in the state as well, because as early as or as late as 2017, what do you say when a part of the state, part of our democracy says that we will not open the cases that relate to the crimes committed against Kashmiri Hindus? The Supreme Court says this. Where do you go then? Why do you go back to the National Conference or Congress or BJP when our own Supreme Court is saying this? What can be more criminal than that? And finally, Rahul, I hope you don't mind, but I want to apply the Anderson's razor here, which is that I don't hold Warren Anderson responsible for the Bhopal genocide because he is a criminal. It is his job to escape. I hold the people who allowed him to escape. I hold them gullible. I, uh, sorry, I, hope them, I hold them guilty like Rajiv Gandhi. So here, I don't hold people like Gilani or Yasin Malik or Bitta responsible. I hold the people whose job it was to save the Kashmiri Pandits. Theirs was the job. And there, every state government, every national central government is complicit. I ask, the equivalence can be drawn here if Jews were driven out of Jerusalem. Do you think the state of Israel would hold Hamas or Fatah gullible or guilty? Would you say that, oh, look, we are helpless. We raise our hands. We can't do anything for our fellow Jews. We keep on blaming Hamas or Fatah or the Palestinians, or the Gaza Strip? No. A, Israel would never let that happen. The fact that we have BJP, Congress, NC, uh, all the other governments complicit in this tells about the weakness of the state, Rahul. We have to accept it. Otherwise, there can be no catharsis. There can be no cure. There can be no reconciliation. Uh, yeah, very briefly, Rahul, I think this, uh, in uh, possibly not in a lighter way, but I think this needs to be emphasized, and I think with due respect, the BJP spokesperson needs to pay heed to this. You see, we are not here to commend the BJP for the great steps it has taken, because we've done that, and we do that from time to time. For example, I am the biggest, uh, I was the one who appreciated and shouted from the rooftops and hailed this government for abrogating Article 370, for bringing in... As I was saying, we are not here to commend the government for the good steps it has taken. As a common citizen, we are here to criticize also the government when it doesn't take steps. Yeah. And I see as a common citizen the proof in front of me, as do Kashmiri Hindus, as the Sushil Pandit in the last 32 yes. years. Yes, yes. 15 years, the government we are all waiting. has been off UPA. And we will... 13 we will, years, the government we will, has been off NDA. Yes, we will...